Sometimes, those with noble blood don't act so noble. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the G.I. Joe villainess, the Baroness. Must I do everything myself? Attack! Attack! As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings in different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1989 to 1990's G.I. Joe A Real American Hero numbers 94 to 96, which was expanded upon in 2010's G.I. Joe Origins number 12. The Baroness has been a thorn in the G.I. Joe side from the very beginning. In charge of intelligence and espionage for the dastardly Cobra organization, she is highly skilled as a spy, cryptographer, hand to hand combatant, and saboteur. She may lack superpowers, but those who get in her way will soon regret it. See you, Duke. Baroness's background was hinted at during many of her run-ins with the Joes, but things weren't put in place until a story arc in 1989 and 1990. During this tale, the Joe known as Snake Eyes was undergoing reconstructive surgery after being seriously hurt, and the Baroness used that opportunity to kidnap him. In fragmented flashback sequences, both Snake Eyes and the Baroness recalled an incident that occurred when Snake Eyes was stationed in Vietnam. Viet Cong soldiers ambushed Snake Eyes and his men and then chased after them. Meanwhile, a young Baroness was also in Vietnam with her brother. The brother was investigating missing medical supplies he had sent to help victims of the war. While the Baroness was in another room, the men who had ambushed Snake Eyes arrived. They had sold the supplies for money to buy weapons, and now they killed the Baroness's brother. Snake Eyes arrived just after this, having followed the men to their hideout. A fight ensued and Snake Eyes came out on top, but the Baroness discovered Snake Eyes standing over her dead brother and assumed that he was the killer. She swore vengeance and embarked on her career as an international terrorist. It's that easy, folks. Back in the present day, the Baroness was planning on making the captured Snake Eyes pay for her brother's death. Fortunately, the villain Destro arrived. It turned out that he had also been present when the Baroness's brother was killed and let her know that Snake Eyes was not to blame. As the Baroness and Destro are two of Cobra's more honorable members, they spared the Joe and set him free, but the Baroness continued with her villainous ways. We got this file before the failsafe system shut down the computer, but it is all we need, Commander. Excellent, Baroness. I place my Crimson Guard at your service. In 2010, a special issue was devoted to retelling the Baroness's origins. In this story, the Baroness discovered that a man named Umberto Gaspare, head of the terrorist organization The Red Hand, had been captured in the Netherlands. The story flashed back to her youth, soon after her brother's death. Tell me, Commander, who in all the world would you never let come to harm? Me, fool. What about a mother, father, sister, or brother? I see. She was being forced to attend a party, where her mother and father introduced her to a young man, Lord Alberti. Upon learning that her father expected her to marry this man, she renounced her family and its wealth. Sometime later, she met the charismatic revolutionary Umberto Gaspare. She accepted his teachings and helped him to fund his revolutionary activities. She also became his lover. Under his tutelage, she learned how to use terror to achieve her ends and brutally murdered her own family. Eventually, Umberto separated from her and soon after, the Baroness became part of Cobra. It's at this point that the story returned to the present day, with the Baroness meeting Umberto in prison. He was overjoyed, expecting her to rescue him. Instead, and you'll never see this one coming, the Baroness killed him, putting an end to that chapter of her life. My beautiful lady of the lake. The Baroness is a strategic genius who is capable of tricking even the combined forces of the G.I. Joe team and their allies. Her cunning and ability to quickly think on her feet, combined with her mastery of numerous weapons, makes her a dangerous adversary. She's definitely a woman you love to hate. There's our little weapons case. All right. Are you a fan of the royally ruthless Baroness? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.